the guy didn't respond, didn't pay. Uh, in my QuickBooks, I can actually see where they opened up the email. So I know that he's received it. I know that he has seen it. And I know that he is now ignoring me. Well, we're giving away a Ford Ranger next month to a premium or platinum subscriber of Quote IQ. So if you need help keeping track of customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments, check out Quote IQ linked in the comment section and the description of this video. All right, what is going on? My name is Mike. This is all about pressure washing. And today I'm going to bring you along with me. And this is something that I very rarely actually have to do because we really target or we try to target target, um, you know, a, our ideal customer, our perfect customer, and that's somebody that has money that isn't going to be an issue. Um, unfortunately, every once in a while, we run into a problem when somebody is slow pay. Uh, very rarely do they not pay because I'm resilient, and if we do the work, I'm going to get my money. That's the bottom line. And uh, so this guy, he hired us. I've contacted him. Obviously, we have a process that we go through. Um, once the work is complete, they get an email with their invoice. Um, after that, you know, I give them. I think I think it's like 15 days before they get hit with another invoice. You know, just a reminder. Uh, and then and then after that, typically people pay, right? Like it doesn't normally take that much. It's a house wash. This particular job, it was I think. $300, I'd have to look at the invoice, either 250 or 300, um, and we just did a house wash. The guy didn't respond, didn't pay. Uh, in my QuickBooks, I can actually see where they opened up the email. So I know that he's received it, I know that he has seen it, and I know that he is now ignoring me. I have sent him text messages, and that's how we corresponded the entire time when we were setting up the um, setting up the initial appointment, going through the quoting process, things of that nature. So I know that he gets text messages, and I know that he is now ignoring my text messages. I've left him multiple uh, voicemails. Um, I've, you know, I've threatened a lien. Now, you know, I threatened a lien. Um, very rarely have we ever actually had to do a lien. And yes, you can you can put a lien on a property for pressure washing. I know a lot of people say, oh, you can't do that. You can, it can be done. But typically it's just the threat of the lien that uh, gets folks to um, pay their bill. So I'm about to roll up on this dude's house. Um, I'm gonna knock on the front door and I'm gonna try to get my money. Now, I, uh, you know, I did a little research um, on the interweb and it appears that uh, he is no longer employed with the folks that he was um, working for. I called, I called him um, so I could, you know, in, since he wasn't answering my calls, texts, emails, I figured if I called him at the office or wherever it was that he worked and uh, maybe he would be, uh, you know, cool enough to, you know, give me my money. But um, they said that he no longer works there. I tracked down his wife. Um, called her place of employment, no longer works there either. So they might be on some, you know, facing some financial difficulties um, and hard times. And if that's the case, just tell me, like we can either work something out or, you know, it's only 250 bucks. Like I don't need the money that bad. I want it because we did the work. I paid my guys, I paid for the gas, I paid for the, the chemicals, I paid for the time, right? Like, and I got some guy that's trying to pass me. Um, but so, Long story short, I don't like being ignored. I don't like uh, the fact that somebody hired us, they scheduled us, we came, we did the work, we did a good job, and now they're ignoring us. Like, ha be a man, um, have the testicular fortitude to either own up to it that you can't pay for it, just tell me that. Like, I'm, I'm a good guy, I can help. Um, or, just say, hey, dude, I'm not paying you. You guys did a lousy job. Something. That's not the case. It's just a complete stonewall, and uh, I don't dig that. 